Come and have a seat around the table of chat. Yes, you can do it. Um, at the moment, we're talking about what, what could the iconic animal of, of Scotland be? Is a, is, a stag a good, is a stag a good idea as an animal? Because it's kind of vegetarian. Um, you get stags all around Europe. So is, is the stag the best one? Could it be an otter or a dolphin? Um, anyway, we've got Emily here. What's your name? My name's Yola. Yola, I'm Mikey. Um, so that's what we're talking about right now. And we're just, we're just um, in a way, we've got Rick visual. Oh, Rick, you've got the screen up. That's excellent. So um, Rick's going to be shortly visualizing some of these things. So I particularly want him to do the Monarch of the Beach, which is the dolphin version of Monarch of the Glen. But, you know, that's, it's kind of up to Rick, really. No pressure, Rick, back there. Another yeah. painting that people yeah. think is really an, a, an icon of Scottish, yeah. Yeah. Scottish identity is actually the one just behind you there yeah. of the, the, well, the skating minister, it's sometimes yeah. known as. Yeah. Um, for some reason, people just feel that this really kind of encapsulates Scotland and yeah. Scottish culture. I'm never really very sure why that is. Yeah. Um, I often ask people who come on tours, why do you, why do you know this painting? Why is it so famous? The skating and, minister. Yeah, and some people say because it's got this kind of elegance yeah. Yeah. Um, to it, which kind of is a bit like the Scottish Enlightenment. Um, okay, so, so it's that's, got a, that's a, a sort of rival to the Monarch of the Glen. Okay, as as a, as iconic a, Scottish yeah, painting. Iconic but Scottish. there's no animals in it, though, it has to be said, unless there's like some, I don't know, frozen fish, exactly. <laughs> um, what do you think about that one, the, the, the skating minister? Does that say Scotland to you? Uh, not particularly. No. But um, yeah. I suppose Scotland's now, the paintings become associated with Scotland. Yeah. So. Okay. Is I keep trying to think of a Scottish animal apart from the stag, and I can't. So that yeah. might be the answer to that one. Okay, so it's the only one really we can think of as a Scottish. Well, look here. We've got a Scottish lion. Should the lion, or, or should it be a stag, on the Scotland scarf? That's what we're kind of saying. Um, well, because you don't really get lions in Scotland. Is there any? Are there any lions at all in Scotland? The unicorn. It's yeah. the, the unicorn is the Scottish um, yeah. animal on yeah. the on the coat of arms. You, in the zoo. Come and come. And, have you ever been face to face with a lion or a stag or a wild animal? Face to face with what? Oh yes, when we were in the Canadian Rockies. Yeah. And what was it? I think it was a stag. Really? Yeah, it was along the pathway, and then it ran up. Yeah, and you were, yeah. it was right in your face. We were, and we were like, ah, <laughs> running away and well, hiding. It was quite scary. It was scary. Yeah. Well, I was very young at the time. Yeah, okay, so you have actually been face to face with a, with a stag. Stag, but not a lion, no. No, no. No. Yeah. <laughs> probably wouldn't be around to be telling us about it. I've, I've been, actually, I've been face to face with a lion in South Africa, yeah. Yes, if, they're, uh, if they're not hungry, if they're not hungry, they'll be okay. Yeah. I mean, they, they're unlike humans, they don't go killing people for fun. Mm, okay. They kill them for food. Okay, so, okay, we've got a new face to the table, we've got Yola, we've got B, we've got Emily, what's your name? Julia. Julia. Um, my name's Mikey, at the moment, I guess a few... We're, I mean, this whole, this is Tokyoki, it's a free-form talk show where you can talk about whatever you want to talk about. We're, it's kind of early days, and right now, there's a few subjects on the table. It's all based around the monarch of the Glen. Is the stag the right animal to represent Scotland? Should it be a dolphin or an otter or an eagle? Um, reason why a stag is... Is yeah. a good an eagle is yeah. is is a good idea, yeah. but the stag is good as well, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. You, you were saying that. I, I I have actually noticed because I I live in just off the Royal Mile. When I was walking down the Royal Mile yesterday, I noticed that the stag and the antlers is used by lots and lots and lots of different companies for branding. Yeah. So it's still a very sort of simple and bold. Symbol. So it's like the Scottish yeah, brand in a it way. It almost is, and I'm yes. just wondering if that's because the Monarch of the Glen, the painting has had so much publicity in the last yeah. couple of years that people have kind of is remembered. Is it about this. the painting, or do you think, yeah? I don't, Julia, well, I don't know. There was a, remember there was a program on, um, it was a drama on the television, yeah. Monarch of the Glen. Yeah. 
uh, the young lad. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. But there was a woman in the, in Christophen near the zoo. Yeah. And she got up one morning and what she saw in her back garden was not a stag, but it was a gorilla. A gorilla? A gorilla? got out of the zoo, yeah. jumped over or whatever these gorillas do, yeah. and was munching about in her garden yeah. and she panicked of course and got the police and the police yeah. got the zoo and the zoo came but yeah okay so we've got fine, wild gorillas in scotland yeah. could the in Kostorfin, i mean you know it which is so tidy you know i mean it brings to mind the billy Connolly um routine which yeah. you know I should, well I, i'm afraid it's about the jobby weaker so we better not go into that <laughs> But he specifically yeah. says, someone rings, they find this this body, who, yeah. fall, you know, and, the, and someone rings up the police. You've got to take it away because it's making the place look untidy. <laughs> right, so this, this is a very uh, tidy suburb, then, I'm, I'm guessing. It, it is. It, yeah. As an introduction to Edinburgh, it, mm. is, it does look very, ti very okay. tidy and neat. Yeah. Yes. I got, I one time I got a little um, hedgehog in my garden. Yeah. And I thought, oh, a little hedgehog. And it crawled under a little bush in the garden. So I bought a little house for it. Yeah. It was made of, uh, you know, stoy stuff, plastic straw. And put it, and it, the next thing, it went in there. Yeah. It was cold, and it went in there. But I haven't seen it for about five years now. No, it's gone somewhere else. OK. I mean, could the hedgehog be an iconic... Um, Scottish animal. Back to symbols. I just suddenly yeah. had a memory that yeah. the stag is actually used in lots of cultures because the Germans use it a the lot. Germans it's on it the Jägermeister, well. and there's something yeah. about white stags that's very mystical. Yeah. It's either Masonic or yeah. even further back than that. So it is a very powerful symbol. It's yeah. a mystical animal to us, very going back a long way. Yeah. In prehistoric art, there are stags. On, okay, so it's an ancient there. kind ancient. of symbol, really. Yeah. Maybe that's because mankind yeah. has hunted them for such a long yeah. time in the caves. Let me just get, let me just try and get some other people involved in this. Have you ever been nose to nose with a stag? Is a stag an appropriate iconic animal for Scotland when it's also the iconic animal of Germany and other countries? Should we could we be a little bit more imagine not imaginative, but a little bit, you know a bit more left field I suppose in that in the animal that we choose to represent Scotland well, it's nice to see yeah. you give us a final story. thought Julia before you go give me a what a final thought the final thought is we are very very fortunate yeah to be able to you know come to a place like this and see pictures of it yeah, yeah. You, you know a lot of people wouldn't see anything but yeah. you come here you're on the walls yeah you've got this you've got that it's we're very lucky. Have you got a favourite painting here? I have, and yeah. it's the twin babies. Right. The twin babies, yeah, yeah. yeah I like the twin babies. I yeah. thought they were lovely. And then also um, there's the Verona. I like Verona, and because uh, I've been to Verona in Italy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the David, the David Roberts. I right. love the David Roberts. It's, I think that's my favourite. Okay. David Roberts. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you know, you know it well. I know it well. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I've been here a lot, and I love it. I, I mean, I wasn't supposed to be coming in here today. I'm walking along Princess Street. You thought you'd pop in. Get a bus, but yeah. I'll pop in. Yeah. <laughs> so take well, care. Again. Well, thanks for popping Thank into Tokyo. Okay. Um, we've got a new face to the table. Hello. What's your name? I'm Zoe Gamble. Zoe, we've got Emily, we've got Yola and Mikey. Right now, we're kind of talking about what, you know, is the stag the appropriate iconic animal for Scotland? Have, the other question is, have you ever been nose to nose with the stag or other wild animal for that matter? Um, should, sh should we be thinking a little bit differently? Because apparently Germany has got... Uh, a stag as a kind of icon of Germany and it's on the Jägermeister bottle oh. just as it is on our whiskey bottle so um, should we be thinking a little bit to the yeah. it's not only on the Jägermeister bottle it actually yeah. has a crucifix suspended above its head on the Jägermeister really? bottle so that indicates what, something what, what does it indicate um, it's some kind of religious 
Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Down yeah. at the Cannon Gate Church, there's a stag yeah. with the. Yeah. And it's about the story of how the um, yeah. Cannon Gate Church and Holyrood, um, the chapel, was yeah. founded because there was this, you know, moment. What's, what's the story of St. Hubert? Have you ever been face to face with a wild animal? That's what we're talking about. Come and have a seat on this. You've got some wild animals there. What animals have you got? I, is it the antlers? I'm not a wild animal. I'm just, I, I'm just trying to be, you know, in a way, trying to be more approachable with these antlers. <laughs> but maybe it's not working. Um, so I guess we're talking about... What, St. Well, yeah, can I, yeah, do, can yeah. I have a bit of a yeah. rant? Yeah, go on, Because yeah. I think it's a fantastic painting, and for me it really represents Scotland and yeah. the, the wild places mm. that we have. We have some of the mm. most wonderful yeah. natural heritage left in the world. But we've become a very urbanised yeah. country, and people don't yeah. really get the chance to go out there much. But for me, and that yeah. whole kind of the pride yeah. and the triumphalism and that, yeah. I think that's wonderful that we're, we're proud to be Scottish. Yeah. Okay. Come on having that view I don't care <laughs> <laughs> come and have a seat on the table of chat we, um, we have got Yola we've got Zoe we've got um, Emily my name's Mikey what's your name Abhishek 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 yes and um, come and have a seat come and get involved in this what's your name Monica Monica at the moment we're talking about um, this painting I don't know if you've seen it yet it's down the end there um, but Zoe's brought up this point. When we think of Scotland, are, are, you know, is it the countryside and the, what, the wilderness we're thinking about? Or is it this kind of more urban, you know, the castles and Edinburgh? What do you, are you from Scotland? I'm from India. From, and what, what do you think of Scotland? As Scotch. Whiskey. Yeah, so it's the whiskey. <laughs> it's the whiskey that attracted you more than anything yeah. else. Um, and is this, is this your first time in Scotland? Yeah, this is the first time. And, and, Thank you. Was it different to how you expected it from kind of like this, from the, I guess, from all the whiskey adverts and stuff yeah, like that? Yeah, I actually like the castles. Yeah. And the climate. Yeah. The climate is very good. Yeah. And the city, yeah. city, city, like yeah. uh, the roads, yeah. the buildings they have made. Yeah. All is like heritage. Uh, yeah. yeah. The architecture is very good. Yeah. And obviously, like uh, when we talk about the whiskey, the scotch. Yeah. It's yeah. the best, best thing in the world. Yeah. And uh, the people are also good. Yeah. And the, whatever I was thinking about the Scotland, I, I, I appreciate that I uh, yeah. enjoyed similar things, the castles mainly. Yeah. How, how does the Scotch whiskey compare to, say, Jägermeister? Pardon me? Do you, have you heard of Jägermeister? It's like a German... Uh, no, no. no. Yeah. Um, anyway, so I guess we're talking about what is iconic about Scotland. Is it the things like this wilderness? Or is it the kind of urban um, idea? Is it, you know, are we creating a true picture of Scotland? Or is it a little bit, you know, is it okay to be this kind of romantic wilderness? Uh, me, yes. Yeah. yeah, for me, I like that, the romance. Yeah. And that says Scotland to me. Yeah. And whiskey. Yeah. And the whole, the highlands and the mist, and yeah. that's what it says, you know, okay. that's Scotland for me. So it's stags in the mist rather than gorillas in the mist, which you sometimes <laughs> get. Uh, yeah. Do you agree with that? Have, because your visitors in Scotland, when you've come to Scotland, is this the kind of image that you've had of Scotland, the highlands and the wildlife, or would you take home a memory which is more to do with castles and cities and tartan and kilts, that kind of... Um, that kind of idea of Scotland. It's very interesting to know. Like, uh, I think, like, uh, the idea which we uh, getting about the Scotland is castles, the yeah. architecture. Yeah, so it's the, more about the buildings and yeah, these very the buildings. old, ancient buildings. Green, yeah. greenery. Yeah. Like, the, like, how they're maintaining their greenery around the castle. Right, okay. And where, do you, where do you come from? In, may I ask, where you come from in India? Uh, New Delhi. New Delhi. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful architecture there in Delhi. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Have you, to, have you been to Delhi? Yes. Was it was it I was asked the same question the other way around. Was it different to how you expected it to be from the kind of image of India? S some of it was. Yeah, some of it was more surprising than I expected, yeah. but yeah. no, generally it was as I expected and as all the marketing publicity had put in had created India yeah. in my mind. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Monica, have you got a view on this? What, what do you think about what, what, what image did you have in your head about Scotland before you came here? 
just greenery, yeah. mountains, yeah. and architecture. Yeah. And was it kind of as you expected? Good. Yeah. Question: Have you been up north yet? Have you been to the Highlands? It's, it's, it's very early to say because this is yeah. the first day we are here. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> well, we, we just uh, yeah. we just, just came. came from the hotel and just like, yeah. yeah. Well, I can just say this is this is a typical Scottish. Yeah. This is a typical Scottish activity, talkie -okey. It's what they, happens in Scotland all the time. No, we're only here. We're actually we're only here just today, actually. Um, over here. So you're in Edinburgh then where do you go? Uh, we will be like uh, we will be going here and there around the city yes. and there are a lot of places like castles. Yeah. Yeah. Are you staying in Edinburgh? Uh, staying in Edinburgh only okay. because we, we will be staying only for the day. Okay. Yeah. So, okay and then where are you going? Uh, Glasgow. Okay Glasgow okay yeah. yeah. And uh, are you going to go around the whole of Britain, or are you just sticking to like Scotland? Like Edinburgh, Glasgow, yeah. and the Dublin also. Okay. Dublin is like a okay. You came yeah. from the London. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> I mean, what? How does Edinburgh compare to London? Uh, to be very frank, uh, yeah. like uh, yeah. the, my la my visit to the London yeah. was the first visit, yeah. and I didn't get any speciality about the London. Yeah. When I was uh, roaming uh, in the London, I just it is just similar to a New York. Yeah. Same building, same traffic, everything yeah, is same. It's kind of like a generic city yeah. in a way. It's a generic city. Yeah. It, sorry, another yeah. rant. It has become like that. It's become yeah. like any other big urban okay. place in the world. So in a way, Edinburgh is a bit more special. It's got its own sort of feel. At the moment, uh, yeah. the moment I just step out from my hotel and yeah. I stepped on, out from the on yeah. the city, on this, uh, these roads, yeah. I just said to my wife that, see, this is the, this is different. Yeah. I want to see the different. Yes. I yeah. was not happy in the London. Because yeah. I've been to so many metropolitan cities, yeah. London is just like that only. Yeah. And uh, the the moment I just spend, I have just half an hour I have spent in the city, yeah. and I'm starting to liking yes. it. Yeah. That's yeah. the thing. We're yeah. Very yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> very friendly. Okay. So uh, we're talking about Edinburgh versus London. London's a bit generic, but Edinburgh's got its own flavour. Um, I hope you have a really nice time. Um, any any views on this side, London versus Edinburgh? Uh, uh, is it far? Um, no, 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 no. Just up the hill. Just, just up, up the hill. hill. Um, anyway, um, I'm sorry. I'm just coming over to to, to to Yolo over here and just trying to bring in some other people. London versus Edinburgh. Is London a bit generic? Oh, yeah. are you are you off? Give us a final thought. Pardon me. Are you, give us a final thought if you're leaving. Final. Final thoughts. Fine of thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to about throw in well about Edinburgh, about Scotland, the image of Scotland. So it's like uh, it's very early to say something because yeah. <laughs> just. Uh, but in a way, these first impressions are kind first, of. First yeah. impression is the best impression. Yeah. Like uh, my trip is for UK, and if I would have travelled to London only, then the impression was very bad yeah. because it's just like another, another uh, modern city. Yeah. But like, this uh, this Edinburgh is. Diff uh, di entirely different, and I really feel that I would have spent uh, almost four or five days here. Yeah. So, so you wish, in a way, you'd spend a bit longer here. Yeah. 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 Next time, definitely, yeah. I'll be staying. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Monica, have you got a final thought? Yeah. I I think I will come back again yeah. after two years yeah. with my kids. There's yeah. a lots yeah. of uh, kids activities I thought here. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Zoo. Yeah. Edinburgh zoos. I yeah. think it's much happier for him. Okay. Um, I mean, it's always worth checking the website as well, isn't there? There's a website for um, for the National Gallery, isn't there? Yes. Yeah. All the information's on our website, yeah. www.nationalgallery.com. Loads, loads of kids' activities always taking place, lots of lectures, and, and I mean, great fun things. The Lego, have you been there yet? It's for children of all ages. I think it's got your name on it. <laughs> Um, do join in if you'd like to. We're making the Monarch of the Glen out of Lego. Yeah. Do you, this do you is know, a very I mean, famous painting. Yeah, do you I mean, know this painting? Do you, you know whiskey? Do you know the whiskey that has this image on it? You, the, no. No? You, you're not familiar with this particular image? There, there's a, a, apparently there's a particular whiskey that um, has got this on the, the bottle. On the bottle? Yeah. I don't know the name. Glenn yeah. Glenfiddich used it. Very stylized image of it now. Hello, come and take a seat. This is Tokyoki. We've got Yola, we've got Zoe. Uh, we 
whiskey. What's your name again? Sorry. Abhishek. Abhishek and Monica, what's your name? Megan. And Les. And Emily over here and Mikey. I should also say that we've got Rick that's visualising the images over here. This is his first one is like being nose to nose with a, with a stag. It's a deer. Yes, it's a deer. And this is a, a stag. Yeah. This is a stag, the male stag. deer. Have you ever been nose to nose? It's a royal the number of times the number of stalks on the okay. antlers, but it's called Monica the Glen. Sorry. Have you, sorry. Have, you, have you ever been nose to nose with a, with a wild animal? Uh, no, I don't think so. No. There's a lot of deer where she lives. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Um, have you ever been nose to nose with a wild animal? Not nose to nose, but it's jumped out in front of me. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, How far away? And just right in front of my car. Yeah. Literally, a yeah. stag. Come and have a seat on the table of chat. We have got Yola, we've got Zoe. What's your name? John. John, come and have a seat. And come, you can do it. Yes, you can. What's your name? Or you can sit on the bench if you want to and watch from there if you want to. Um, so that's Zoe. We've got Yola. What's your name? What's the name? Isla. Isla, welcome. And what was it again? Megan. Megan and Liz. Liz and Emily. We've got over here and Mikey. Come and sit. Come and have a seat. Don't be shy. Um, what's your name? Penny. 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 So there's a few subjects on the table at the moment. One is about, have you ever been face to face with a wild animal like, like this? Have you? Nope. Have you ever? No. Have you ever been face to face with any kind of animal? Nope. No? Isla? A dog. A, a dog. dog. Yeah. Okay. A dog. Okay. Um, so but that's one of the things. It's about this confrontation with nature, with with animals, and then the other thing we're talking about is what is the best animal to represent Scotland? Is it this stag, or sh could it be? You th what's that? It has to be the deer. Deer, and yeah. that's the most beautiful. Yeah. To yeah. look at. You, so you think that you think in I a think, way this is yeah, right? Yeah. I think the deer represents yeah. it well. Because so. Yeah. I think the deer really represents Scotland well. Because we've got Emily over here, you were kind of saying... I, what, yeah. I thought maybe a dolphin would be good for Scotland, because there are lots of dolphins around here. Yeah. Um, or hedgehogs. Someone yeah. suggested a hedgehog. Yeah. Or maybe an eagle. Because yeah. there are eagles, there are a lot of eagles What's in Scotland. What's the problem with the deer or the stag? Oh, there's no problem. I think yeah. the deer and the stag is really, really good. It's just it's not the only animal in Scotland, is it? There are a lot of others. Yeah. Yeah. What animals have you seen? I have seen it on my hill next to my house. Yeah. And I used to see some deer. Yeah. Okay, so deer, deer. Um, anything else? There's a dog. What, what kind of dog were you face to face with? My pet. Okay. <laughs> what? Have you ever seen a fox? Yes. A fox? Could a fox be a, the image of Scotland? Yeah, are you happy, Penny? Are you happy with deer? De it? Deer, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. It's got to be the deer. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Why the deer? Oh, it's it's just uh, fabulous yeah. to see it in the yeah. wild. That yeah. but where we live, that yeah. there are deer that we yeah. see fairly often. Yeah. So it is kind of like it's got to be deer. Live as yeah. Well, there's yeah. deer. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, are there are there too many deer around and about? Is it is it are there? <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah. To do something where they live because there's been a lot of young deer yeah. run over. Right, okay. So, so they've not got a lot of traffic sense. No, and now yeah. they're quite young about. Yeah. And I think they should be doing more to protect them. What could they do to protect the deer? Well, put fencing up near the main roads where right. the young ones are okay. coming down and getting run over. Okay, yeah. what do I've you think? seen three in the last week. Okay, so there's a lot of deer getting hit by cars. Is Where there is that out of interest? Whereabouts? Fairmelon and Burnt Island. Right. There's okay. loads on the road yeah. to Burnt Island. Yeah. So they need more fences, basically. I think so, to protect them. Okay. Are we doing enough to protect deer? Um, yeah. The truth of the matter is they probably do a lot of culling as well. Yeah. Um, because actually too many deer. I so they do management of estates because yeah. they shred the bark off the trees and I suspect there's a lot of culling going on that we don't yeah. realise. So, we, so they wouldn't really protect the young per se because they're, they're shooting them at the end of the year <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> Cold, yeah, than, yeah, than see them lying yeah. at the side yeah. of the road, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, yeah. So we've got here the kind of the mon the monarch of the beach, 
Um, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know, Rick. I mean, to me, um, is that Scotland you've got there? It looks a bit it sort of more <laughs> tropical. Maybe after a bit of global. It looks more tropical. Yeah, a bit of a bit of global warming. Yeah, it's it's wind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, I mean. <laughs> no, it's not. I mean, but you know, could is. Could the dolphin be the icon? What do you think? Would that work as an image of Scotland, Isla? You're not sure, John? No, I'm not sure. You're not sure. Okay. What do you, no, what, Megan, what do you think? Do you think that could work as an image of Scotland? Well, you don't really see dolphins a lot here, and I think the deer's just a gorgeous animal. Okay, so it's a bit more gorgeous than the dolphin. Well, no. Yeah. But I just really like it. Deer. Okay, like the deer. Okay, you don't see too many dolphins around in the Can bar. anyone remember a few years ago, it might have been in Richmond Park, but somebody got money to shoot a great big giant stag there. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you remember it? What do you mean? Somebody shot a monarch of the glen, a yeah. big, big lead stag, and paid yeah. money to do so. There was a yeah. big outcry. So right. people got very, very emotive about it because it wasn't just a deer, it was the large the biggest buck, one. the stag, the, yeah. the really super one, and the guy paid hundreds of pounds to be yeah. allowed a pot shot at it, which he did, and killed it. I, mean, what I people, think it yeah. might have been Richmond Park, but I can't guarantee That's why I'm asking if someone else remembers. Yeah. What? Bloodline, I think, yeah. of, of a particular bloodline. I, th right. I, I think it was, yeah. I mean, what do people think about this? Um, do, what do you think about shooting deer? If any views on it? Should somebody be allowed to pay a lot of money to? You say no, Megan. Why? Um, because that's just cruel. The de yeah. deer haven't done anything to us, so why should we kill them? Okay, so the deer haven't done anything. Um, any any reason to kill the deer? Why would you kill it? Yeah. I, I suppose in the past, yeah. um, people killed deer because they, in Scotland, they didn't have a lot to eat. Like they right. couldn't go to the supermarket and yeah. buy sausages or veggie burgers or anything. They yeah. actually, they had to actually kill wild animals and fish. Yeah. So that's why in the past they did that. But we don't really need to do that today, do we? Because right. so we can kind of go to the supermarket and buy other things. Yeah. Okay. But some people would think that actually. An animal which has had a really happy life in the mountains, yeah. sort of roaming free. Or Richmond Park. Or Richmond Park was yeah. better, was kind of more ethical to eat than maybe an animal who'd been in a farm, in a pen yeah. all its life. Okay, so is it better in a way to shoot an animal that's just having fun in the wild, eating grass, or whatever? The, what do they eat? Bark? Eating bark? Is that better in a way? We're educated. Yeah. That we eat farm produce yeah but animals that are running free yeah. they don't see it as you know we should be eating that yeah, yeah. you know but understand the yeah. numbers have to be kept down you know yeah as okay. long as it's in a humane way okay way, what, you know? what about the issue of like charging money to for I someone i don't yeah. don't agree with that yeah so it shouldn't be that's like, only for someone's yeah. pleasure you know yeah. that he's yeah. killed a stag okay i don't agree with that Okay, so we're talking about we're talking about shooting deer at the moment. Um, is it in a way better than than the farmed animal that's been in a pen all of its life? The deer's been roaming free. Yola, because of course I'm thinking again. In the past, I was up in the northwest of Scotland. Beautiful yeah. this year, up on Cape yeah. Wrath, yeah. and uh, I was shocked to discover only a few hundred years ago it was full of wolves. Right. And trees, so the wolves would have done the deer. Right. That would have been a natural culling. Okay, so and I they've mean, now been removed. In fact, I think it's called yeah. the path, P-A-R-P-H. It's a Viking word for, for beasts, a land. Of, that part was full of forest and wolves and okay. deer. The fact they used to stop off and hunt there themselves. So we used All to gone. It's like it never existed. It's okay. like it never happened now. But only about three, four hundred years ago it was all... Yeah. Wolves and forests. Wolves and forests. Okay. So, I mean, that would be the natural. We wouldn't have to cull if we introduced the wolf, but I would be yeah. really interested to see what Scottish people would think of that. I mean, what, <laughs> what about the wolf? Because the, the wolf used to do this job of hunting the deer rather than the, um, the humans. Should the wolf be reintroduced? Um, right. The problem yeah. is that humans take over so much land yeah. that you couldn't contain them. Yeah. to run free because yeah. they're human and you know and 
than they'd in their, their space sort of thing, you know. Right. Okay, so wolves don't mix well with humans. We've got a, yeah, yeah. The, la the last wolf in Scotland was actually shot in 17 something or other in yeah. St Andrews. And people were really pleased because people wolves were, pleased, were very yeah. dangerous. Okay. And they did actually sometimes eat children. So right. they thought it was a really good thing not to have wolves in Scotland anymore. Should we reintroduce the wolves? Are they a danger to children? Um, let's ask some of the younger people would you be happy with wolves roaming around, Isla? Would you like no. no, no, you wouldn't be happy. Would you be happy? No, no, would you be happy? No, okay, so not really in favor of wolves, uh, roaming. Maybe if they had special areas for wolves, yeah, where they which were really huge but had yeah. fences so wolves couldn't get out, would that make you feel okay, better? Okay, so what about a fenced <laughs> area for wolves? Yeah. What do you think? I'll, I'll leave you to think about that for a second. Um, we've got some new faces at the table. So we've got Emily, we've got Yola. What's your name? My name is Kevin. Kevin and? Lauren. And we've got Zoe, we've got Isla. John, is it? And we've got Penny. Okay, give us a final thought before you go. Um, we're on this hot topic about the wolves, the deer. Should we, you know, anything, anything as a final thought? Megan, have you got a final thought? Well, Should, what do you think about the wolves? I still don't really want them because they could actually get through a fence, I think. Yeah, so you, they, okay, so they would take out a few kids here and there. So maybe a final thought? We don't want to kill kids. Wait, 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 we don't want wolves, no. No, no wolves, okay. And if there was a fence and they couldn't break through it, they would maybe like yeah. dig f under it. Yeah. <laughs> They could we'll say that again. They could dig under they it. They could dig under it. Okay, yeah. Or if there's no fencing on the top, they could jump over it. Okay, they could get over it, under it. A wolf could actually navigate and negotiate a fence. They're too dangerous to bring back. But would they sort out the, this deer problem that we've got? That's what we're talking about here. Could we bring back the wolves? Could we train them to be to be kind to children? Um, that's some of the. Come and have a, have a any any opinions about wolves? Um, come and have a seat on the table of chat. Um, we've got. We've got a lot of food. Uh, what, what's Something that? For their needs. Yeah, I've got a lot to eat around here. Come and have a seat. We have got Zoe. We've what was it again? Lauren. Lauren and Kevin and Yola and Emily and. Um, well, Jane. Jane. Um, what's your name? You got Howard. Howard. Come and have a seat. Come and have a seat. Come and get involved in this. What's your name? Uh, Bob. Was it? York, Connecticut. Bob. Okay. I mean, what, there's a few subjects on the table. One is about Scotland. And, you know, what is the iconic imagery of Scotland? Is Scotland what you expected? But then we're also talking about this idea of the deer. Do we have actually too many deer in Scotland? And should we bring the wolves back in to actually, um, to actually manage the deer population? The kids don't really like it because they feel threatened by the wolves. Probably rightly so. Um, so that's where we are right now. So I don't know. Uh, do, the, do you have wolves in? In uh, uh, we've got coyotes, and yeah. uh, some of them are coming very large and wolf-like, and they right. scare people and kill pets. Right. So if you have a cat or a dog that's been eaten or yeah. know somebody, it's kind of scary. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, do you think it's worthwhile having them, even though even if they are a bit dangerous? Mm, in the right place. Okay. So it's maybe about maybe not in the backyard. Okay, so it's about maybe having them a little bit of a distance away from, from human population. Okay, have you got a view on this? Um, no, I, I pretty much agree with Howard. Who, yeah. This is a great painting, though. I'm curious who's the artist. Okay, well, um, have we got any experts on this? Can someone tell us about this painting? Yeah. Yeah. It's by Sir, Sir Edwin Henry Landseer, yeah. who was, he was actually English, but he did a lot of paintings of the Scottish Highlands. So. Yeah. Um, and this is probably his most famous, and it is very famous in Scotland because it's actually on the whiskey labels, the Glenfiddich um, whiskey labels, but it's been bought by the gallery a couple of years ago. A lot of money was raised, and it's been on a tour all the way around Scotland, and it's come back to Edinburgh a couple of months ago, and it's now on display in the gallery. Yeah. It's, just it's just down there, down there, but don't go and see it yet because we've got you around the table right now. Did you know this painting before you came here today? Was it familiar to does you? This, no. Does it no. say? Uh, I think I've seen it. I, I does it say know. Scotland yeah. to you when you look at that, or do you think of the American wilderness well, when you see that? I must say, I thought I yeah uh, thought it was actually an elk before I understood that yeah. it was a red deer. So I'm, okay. I'm quite naive. But well, I don't know. To be honest, I don't know the difference between a red deer and an elk. Anyone on this side? What, uh, what is an elk? 
Yeah. Yeah. We didn't yeah. have elk here. Yeah. Is elk yeah, in America? Is that yeah. American in the, in the West? Yeah. In okay. The West, yeah. Okay. So that could, you know, it, it it could potentially be a in a way a North American kind of view. Jane, have you got any thoughts on any of this? Um, uh, no, no, please. I'm just. Oh, just listening. Just listening, okay. Um, so, yeah, so right now, I guess there's a few subjects on the table. It's about that confrontation with nature, which Sir Edwin Lanz here has captured, you know, really well here. But does it really represent Scotland? Should a wolf be on there? But the, uh, according to Emily, the last wolf was killed in 1750-something. 17-something. 17-something or other. Um, but if you've got, you've got wolves in, uh, well, you've got the coyote, yeah, but, but you've got... Wolves in the east, they're yeah. talking about bringing them back up to yeah. upstate New York and places, yeah. yeah. But it hasn't been done yet. It's a big argument because What's the, view? the, What's the farmers view are there? very much against it, and, right. uh, but the environmentalists are for it, so yeah. it hasn't happened yet. Uh, uh, have you got a view on it? Do you think it... I don't, I don't think yeah. it should come back. I think yeah. they'll get aggressive. You'll have problems, yeah. I, you know. So it's not really what. But them. I think the hunting, yeah. hunting controls the deer, so I'm, I'm yeah. in favor of that. Okay, well, that was one of the other subjects we had earlier on. It's like, you know, is hunting a way to control the deer? Is it acceptable to charge people money to shoot some of these large. Okay. So this is a photograph uh, yeah. about yeah. 40 minutes outside New York City. And you can see standing right next to somebody's house. Yeah. It's a coyote, but. But it's getting to be close to the size of a wolf. Right. Okay. He's <laughs> big. Yeah. Yeah. What's the difference? There was even no. one in there. Yeah. Absolutely. If yeah. you had a child, yeah. you, that that could take down a young child. Okay. So that. And so, so these are living in our, you know, out in our forests, right outside New York City. Okay. So I think it's all about balance. You've got to have a balance, and if you get, anything gets out of balance, you're going to get yes. problems. And we are the top of the food chain, and it's our responsibility to manage the okay. environment. So real life scenario. Yeah, yeah, that's real life. That's just happened to be. Is that your house? Uh, that's right by my brother's house. We okay. live in the same town. Okay, so so that's that's the reality of having these large predators hanging about. In the I'm trying to think of the very famous scientist, oh, Lovelock, who yeah. did Gaia theory because yeah. he thinks humans should be under geodesic domes and we should leave all of that to just continue to develop. Uh, okay. So we just deal with so our we waste. We should be and fenced in. We should be fenced idea. in and yeah. they should be continuing okay. on their diverse evolutionary path and allowing the planet to breathe and grow, which includes then deer yeah. and wolves, all as part of the food chain. Okay. It's to eat the wolves. Okay, 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 okay. So we've got the 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 wolf hunter. Um, In Scotland, there used to be there used to be elk, there used yeah. to be wolves, there used to be bears, yeah. beavers, and a lot of these creatures have died out because they were hunted by mankind, or yeah. maybe the climate as well. I mean, what do you think about this idea of of um, of fencing in humans so that they don't <laughs> interfere? Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, are we putting our needs as humans above those of, the, of nature itself when we, you know, when we worry about our children getting, I haven't got any, ch any kids, by the way, I'll just say that right now, getting eaten by wolves or coyotes. Are we actually, you know, kind of overstating our needs compared to the needs of, of, the, of the planet? The wolves joined up with man yeah. 50,000 years ago and yeah. over time became dogs. Yeah. So that was quite natural. Okay, so in a way they've already done that. They've evolved to kind of be part of the human kind of setup. So, and that's a dog. So maybe we've already got that. Maybe we should just have bigger dogs and set them onto the deer <laughs> rather than wolves. In the, yeah. Well, I think they would ch they would hunt with dogs and chase yeah. Uh, yeah. chase the deer. Is there a particular deer hunting dog that is I, out there? Yeah. I think a Great Dane was bred for right. wild boar and deer, and right. they run, they grab it by the hind legs and flip yeah. it over. That's why the dog is so large, so it's got the power to do that. Right. Okay. That's ger it's a German dog. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. If, you, if you have a look at that a huge painting on the end wall. It's actually by an American artist, Benjamin West, but it's yeah. a, sh a scene of Scottish history, King yeah. Alexander III, yeah. um, and it has lots of special deer hands in it. About, I think there's about 13 dogs um, right. in that painting. Um, yeah. yeah. Deer hound, this breed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, why is an American artist painting 
Images of Scotland. Well, he was paid to. He came over. He was born in Pennsylvania. Yeah. He came over to London. He studied yeah. in Rome. He was really famous artist. He was yeah. the um, one of the sort of heads of the Royal Academy right. in London. And then he was paid by a Scottish nobleman to do this enormous painting right. of Scotland. But he never visited Scotland. Right. But he's kind of included what to him was really iconic. Um, it's got tartan, it's got the Scottish flag sort of hidden in it, um, and it's got a castle which looks a bit like Stirling Castle, and it's got lots of weather in it too. So was the person who <laughs> commissioned the painting, were they Scottish? They were, they were Scottish. So they got an American guy who'd never been to Scotland to make well, a painting. The, re the reason yeah. why they wanted yeah. Benjamin West was because he was one of the king's painters. Right. So they wanted something that you know was yeah. the the very tip of the top. They wanted yeah. top quality art, and so okay. that's what they got. Right. I see. And the American the American painter Benjamin West was the best. He was. Okay. He was the best. Come and have a seat on the table of chat at the moment. There's a few subjects on the table. Shh, the wolves. Is it the time of the wolves? Do we need to reintroduce? Are you off? We're off. Give us a final thought before you go. Oh, it was very fun chatting with you. What are you going to? Um, thank you. Uh, what are you going to throw into the conversation just to keep us going? Anything? Um, I mean, what's your view of, of Scotland? I don't know how long you've been here. Is it kind of as you anticipated? It's, it's positive, yeah. It's, Would not, you it's not all golf courses. It's Red Stag, yeah. too. Okay, so, so you <laughs> thought there'd be more golf courses? No, I, yeah, yeah. I know it's not really the season, although year-round, I guess. I mean, would you have come if there were, if there were wolves running around? As a tourist? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, okay. So it would actually attract tourists, yeah. Okay. Um, well, thanks. Thanks. Anything else? Any other final thoughts? No? Thanks very much. And go and have a look at some of these, these paintings that we've mentioned. The, the Monarch of the Glen. And what's, that? what's, the, what's the, the Scottish one it called? It is the, what, the big one at yeah. the end. It's called King Alexander III of Scotland Rescued from the Fury of a Stag by okay. Colin Fitzgerald. So not only is it the biggest painting, but it's got the longest name. It's, longest, it's got quite a long name. <laughs> has, it got, has it got like a short name? Just for well, we call it the Death of the Stag. Just Death for of the sure. Stag. Okay, well, that's what I'll call it, because I don't think I can remember, um, remember all the rest of it. Sad painting. It yeah. It's a very sad painting. And um, Let me get a final incongruous thought. because... Um, Obviously, it's the stag that's in danger. Yeah. yeah we did, we, I did once have a school group, and we were discussing yeah. that painting, and they decided to have a vote on whether the king should be saved or the stag, and they decided that the stag should be saved. Okay. <laughs> Rescued from the fury of the king. Yes, exactly. Okay. Lauren, final thought? I suppose to add in, in addition to wolves, the conversation around introducing lynx back into yeah. Scotland is coming yeah. up as a more realistic opportunity rather yeah. than with the fear that wolves instill, lynx are slightly less What's a lynx? ferocious. I thought that was a kind of body spray. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, no. It's, what, a, what is? it's a small big cat. Yeah it's, a, yeah, it's a small big cat, not a big uh, small cat. Yeah, a bit well. uh, and it's, it's in the lion tiger family, I believe. Okay, so it's like a mini mini tiger, let's call it. Very mini, yes. And does it have a pleasant smell? I've no idea. Okay, <laughs> well, I guess I mean, and where can you find a lynx these days? Where would you reintroduce oh, it from? Oh, good question. I think there are lynx in America and right. Canada, and yeah. probably different yeah. parts of. Yeah. I want Hang on. Let me just bring these people in. Come and have a seat around the table of chat. We're talking about wolves and we're talking about deer. We're talking about lynx. Do you know what a lynx is? It's a cat. It's a cat? Oh, yeah, you're absolutely right. Come and have a seat. Come and get involved in this. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. Um, you don't have to say anything. Don't you don't have to say anything. Come and, join, come and join in. Set an example. What's your name? Just say what your name is. That's Katie. Katie, welcome. And what's your name? Tracy. Tracy. And well, there are a few subjects on the table right now. Um, it's all around, as you can imagine, the Monarch of the Glen, this iconic painting. Um, but there's been a few things said. Are there too many deer in Scotland? And you say no. No. Um, other people have said, you say, you say, yes, there are too many deer. But how to get rid of them? Do you shoot them? Do you bring in wolves? Or someone that's gone now has just suggested bringing in the lynx. Uh, as a way of reducing the deer, but can a cat? Let me 
they probably, they'd probably get trampled. They're just cats. Yeah, you don't think a cat could take down a deer? No. No, okay, so you don't really have much faith. I think there would be less birds if we had lynx. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. But would the countryside smell more pleasant if there were lynx everywhere? Uh, no. no. No? Definitely not. No, they don't. They're not nice smelling, the lynx. No, they mark your territory. Okay. What? Yeah. What sort of animals do you think you would like to see in Scotland reintroduced? Reintroduced? Yeah. Maybe animals that we've never had before. I don't really know. I don't really know if there's any animals that really want to come back or even come. Yeah, I mean, you, in a way, it's hard to ask an animal if it wants to come to Scotland. Come and have a see. Would you like to see the wolf reintroduced to Scotland to keep down the deer? Come and have a seat. Uh, we've got Yolo, we've got Zoe, we've got Tracy, Katie, what was it again? Logan. Logan and, um, and we've got Emily and Mikey. We're talking, we're kind of having a chat about... Um, What's that? About the monarch of the Glen, really, and... Oh, the perfect. Come and have a seat. Around. Where are you from? Norway. Do, do you have these in Norway? Are there too many? No. Have you got wolves in Norway? Yes. You do. Do they eat children? No. No? Okay. Because uh, one of... Because one of the fears about, we had some kids around the table, one of their fears about reintroducing wolves, people like Yola when they reintroduce the wolf into um, Scotland, but the children didn't like that idea because they felt they might get eaten. Well, they don't go into the woods, they won't get eaten. Okay, so you just have to avoid the woods? Yes. Okay. So, are you, in, Logan, are you in favour of reintroducing wolves? I guess so. You think it would be okay? You're not worried about getting eaten? No. Would you be worried about getting eaten? If you go for a walk in Pit and Creef Glen, that a wolf will come out from behind a tree. Yes, Mum, what I'd do to a wolf. What? Yeah. You killed a wolf? I haven't yeah. killed one, but I probably will. Oh, you would? Okay, okay. Yes. Okay. Um, Katie, how do you feel about wolves in Scotland? Should there be wolves in Scotland? No, okay. Tracy, what do you think? I've never really thought about it much, but um, I don't know if introducing another animal to take over another yeah. animal would be the way forward, to be totally honest. Okay. I think War three with animals. It would be World War Three of animals. The wolves like would... Know a lot about it. Yeah. That sounds like you know a lot about it. Reintroducing... <laughs> reintroducing wolves? Oh, come. Oh, hang on a sec, Logan. I want a final thought from you. What animal would you, if you could introduce any animal, what animal would you want to introduce? Eagle. Eagle? Eagles. Don't we already have eagles in Scotland? We it's have hawks, not eagles. Okay, so a, a few more eagles around the place? Yes. Okay, any particular species of eagle? No. Any, any eagle, really? No. Okay. What's that? She's, yeah, she's okay. Okay, so maybe, maybe a few more, a few more eagles. Um, I guess, I guess uh, that you've got the eagles on the golf course that you have occasionally. Uh, You're a former employee. I'm a former employee. Oh. Okay. Um, well, I'm, I'm probably about to be a former employee. <laughs> Um, come and have a seat on the table of chat. This is Talkioki. It's a free-form talk show where you can talk about whatever you want to talk about. It's kind of up to you. Um, we've got Yola. We've got Emily. What's your name? James. James. I'm Mikey. There's a few subjects on the table. Some of it's about this painting, but also related issues about hunting and about reintroducing wolves. Would you like to see wolves reintroduced into Scotland? Yes. Yes? I would. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Are you not worried about them gobbling up the odd child here and there? No. No? No. Um, have we got too many children? Do we need to keep the population of... I think that I... Yeah. Certain ones, yes. Okay. <laughs> so it wouldn't be too bad a I thing. I think just like everywhere across the world, the, mm. the big issue is never really the general populace. It's always farming yeah. versus... Yeah. Rewilding but wildlife. Because it's always about farm management, isn't it? Land management. I mean, haven't we got an interest in farming as we eat the products of farming? Uh, I think we do, but. Um, Farming's too commercialised. Yeah. 
back to commercialised. Okay, so it's a bit too commercialised. Could it be done in a different way where we had wolves? Yes. You think? Okay, so you're, you're very much in favour, I can tell. You've yeah. got no doubt, really. Oh, no doubt at all. Okay, yeah. so you're very much a fan of bringing wolves back in. We might lose the odd farm animal, we might lose the odd child, but the benefit to nature would be greater. Um, B, have you got any views on this? Well, I, th I think the wolves would kill the stags in a much nastier way than someone culling them. Yeah, so uh, you think it would be crueler in a way to the stags? I would like to have wolves back just for the sake of wolves, you know, because yeah. I like wolves. But I'm, I'm not, th I think the argument that that is a better death for a stag than being shot clinically is... Yeah. Uh, so um, you think it would be much more terrifying <laughs> to be pursued by wolves than by... Yeah. 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 Exactly. yeah. Even though we've got here the Scottish Lynx. Um, yeah. Maybe we should just actually go through some of the visualizations that Rick's been doing. And Rick, I've got that little bell in my bag, which is just under the table, if you want to ring the bell when you come up with a new one. Um, okay, so this is the first one, nose to nose with the stag. Um, this is the monarch of the beach. Um, could the dolphin be the iconic animal of Scotland? Um, then. Well, what other animal could it be? The otter? Could it be the? Oops! Could it be the hedgehog? Scottish wildcat. Could, yeah. A Scottish wildcat. A Scottish wildcat. Is that like a lynx? Smaller. Smaller than the lynx. Okay. Um, then this is like um, the wolves hunting the deer with the deer stalker hat. Um, and this is the this is the Scottish lynx. The bit different. Would could the Scottish wildcat and the lynx live together? Yes. Poor in poor. Yes. They could. Okay. Yes. So they, they are compatible as, uh, as cat species. Um, okay. And that's where we are really. So, I mean, I don't know where we want to go with this conversation. Do we want to talk about um, the nature, the wilderness of Scotland? Is this really wilderness with all the deer running around? Because Yola earlier on was talking about forests and wolves. Is a more forested Scotland, the actual true. Yeah. I was, I was thinking, I was just thinking, are there any paintings of wolves in the National Galleries of Scotland? And yeah. then I remembered actually there are, there is yeah. one in the pageant frieze in the portrait gallery, and it shows the yeah. Caledonian forest because originally Scotland was covered in a huge forest, yeah. and actually mankind could only live around the edges, right. and that's what this big Victorian painting shows. It shows the first people of Scotland coming right. out of the forest and a, with a wolf so yes we do definitely have one painting at least okay which has a wolf in it okay so wolves and forests is another because this is really about deer and moors which is uh, i guess an alternative view of the scottish wilderness you're nodding yola well the moor is a kind of it's a another unnatural environment isn't it it's there for yeah. grouse and for estate management again it's yeah. actually it's so actually designed like that because baby grouse love it and do very well in it and then it's all about shooting the grouse and getting the income from that. Okay, so it's not necessarily a natural environment for Scotland, the moorland with the deer. It's, it's, yeah. and, and grouse these days have to count as farmed animals. I mean, yeah. they're not wild and, and pheasant. I mean, yeah. you know, there's the feeding things all over the place and they're, they're managed and so on. I mean, they are, they are not wild. The deer, are uh, uh, some of them, uh, you know, are much wilder. Oh, yeah. So I think, yeah. might bear with me, I think George Monbiot was talking about sheep. Again, how destructive they are, how they stop the forest growing back. Uh, somebody was calling them, somebody I know that works in biodiversity calls them white maggots. Right. Um, because they pull out every little sapling and you end up with a more kind of heather or barren soil erosion and that's sheep, which I find bizarre because you get no money for sheep. A yeah. fleece is something like 50p and a sheep something like 10 quid at auction. 50p? It's absolutely dirt cheap. Yeah. The, the, the product of sheep and yet they're everywhere pulling out baby saplings. Are the sheep farmers getting fleeced? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you've just arrived. Okay, welcome. How do you say that in Spanish? Yeah, uh, what, uh, I've forgotten now. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Yeah. It's a, it is a very beautiful, very beautiful city. Thanks for coming. Um, and she, like the, she likes the painter's impressionismo. Okay, the impressionist painting. What do you think of this painting? 
No, this is a real. Yeah. Ah, yeah. the el animal del. Yeah. This is. Yeah, this is the, uh, the, the deer. Deer, deer. What do you call it in Spanish? What? A ciervo. Ciervo. Um, so come and have a seat on the table of chat. We're talking. We're having a, a deer conversation, a stag conversation. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Adiós. Uh, so we have got Yola. We've got Emily. Um, what's your name? We've got Alfie here. Okay. And what's your name? Alfie and Granda. Granda. Okay, so at the moment we're talking about we're talking about this animal. We're talking about wolves and a soft wolf, haven't you? What's your favourite animal? A, a, a lion. A lion. I mean, when it comes, one of the things we're talking about when it comes to representing Scotland, what is the animal to use? Is it this? Is it a lion? Is it an eagle or a midge, somebody said? It's a grouse that we see running about in Holyrood Park. You like the famous grouse, do you? Yeah. yeah okay. Um, okay, so, so, I mean, Grando, have hey, you... I wasn't referring to a drum. Yeah. It is, yeah. Um, what, what do you think should represent... Is, is there an animal that can represent Scotland? Is it a, about having a, a whole kind of menagerie of different animals? Have an animal that's eating all the SNP, then we could. <laughs> oh, political comment there. Yeah. Okay, well, what animal would then eat the SNP? Forward. A very large lion could eat all the SNP. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, so, I mean, so you're going for the lion, really, a more predatory animal. One of the things about these predators, and that's been said on, on the table, is that they they will cull off some of the, you know, when you've got too many deer, they will get rid of it. Yeah, the big fierce beasties that'll eat up the other beasties, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so, I mean, I guess where do we want to take this conversation? Is it really, one of the things that, that Emily mentioned, is it really, when you think of where you're from, do you think of the town? Do you think of the, the country? The, the whole planet? Alf is a city boy. Yes, yeah, okay. the city, yeah. We're city people. Yeah. Is it the city? A city. Okay, yeah. Yep, yeah, okay. Alfie likes to come into the city. And what about, what about Granda? Do you, you think of the town? Do you we, think live, of the, yeah. we live in the port of Leith and we like to come up to the city to do the galleries right, and okay. the museums. Right, okay. What symbol do you think would be good for Leith? Do you think the ship is good for Leith or do you think it should have something more modern? Could it be a doc the lethal, lethal already has its own motto and, it, and its yeah. own emblems, which is a ship. Yeah. Yep. I mean, could you, because um, maybe we can just flick back to the monarch of the beach. Could you have, you know, this, because, because of Leaf's connection to the sea, could the dolphin be like, almost like the iconic symbol well, of Leaf? a wee bit fresh for, the, yeah. for dolphins and Leaf. Yeah. Okay, it's you a bit too. Dolphin, yeah, well, this is a bit more. This is Leith after some global warming. Maybe when uh, you're in the bath at Granny's, yeah, yeah. a dolphin could jump out the bath. Do you like dolphins? Yeah. Okay. Tell the man what other animals you like. What's your favourite animals? I like all of them. All of them? All of them. Okay. You like Halloween? So, I mean, where do we want to go with this? Yola, what, I mean, I'm just going to bring the spread it out to Yola. What, do you see yourself as, uh, as coming from Edinburgh, from Scotland, from Britain, from a particular part of Edinburgh? Um, it's, it's difficult. I think yeah. a lot of people have mixed identity. And yeah. there's probably not, that's probably quite normal. Um, yeah. It just depends. So it's more complicated than that in a I way. I think it's more complicated. Yeah. the correct answer. Yeah. Is it not more complicated for you then, Granda? No, we just we're straightforward. We're, we're, we're Edinburgh and we're Scottish, aren't we? Yeah. Complicated for me. It's not complicated. For it's not complicated for you. Myself. Okay. He's an Edinburgh boy. Okay. So it's complicated for some people. Um, is it complicated for you? Still? Sorry, I slightly wasn't listening. Well, we're, talking, we're, we're kind of talking now about um, where are you <laughs> from? Well, actually, B lives in um, Portobello, and she said that she saw dolphins this in B Portobello. Here. Yeah. Yeah, so you could see them in Leith. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. first thing in the morning, I opened my curtains and right. saw these two dolphins playing around, and 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were at Portobello, and then it was a few days later, they had the big beach busk at Portobello, right. and the dolphins came again. They were obviously listening to all the noise that was going on. Right. So they played okay. about So they like a bit the of beach. music. They obviously wanted to join yeah. in. Would, would they venture as far as Leith, though? Do you think? Well, or? I don't know. I okay. mean, Leithers uh, might not it let them in. The question is the so? main dish yeah. of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Uh, of course, that's a very good final thought. Yeah. Okay, thanks very much. Um, okay, so would the dolphins end up in the chip shop? That's the question um, that Grandars put down there on the table. But with, I guess there's also this question about identity. They're, um, whoops. We've got this uh, weird loose connection going on here, which I don't like, especially as we led to the other cable in the van. Um, okay, any new visualizations, Rick? Um, no? Okay. It like a film. Yeah, okay, there was one. Yeah, there was this one. The Last Wolf of Scotland. Okay, I see what you're doing there, Rick. I see what you're doing there, because that's. It was the Last King of Scotland film that you're talking That was about. Uh, yeah, it's like a cross between The Last King of Scotland and. Dances with Wolves, this, isn't it? Um, last, well, maybe you could make a film about, do you think this, would it make a good film, The Last Wolf of Scotland? Yes, it would, ma it would yeah. make an absolutely brilliant film. Oh, I think, I it think would. I could yeah. write a novel about hunting the last, yeah. the last wolf in Scotland. <laughs> yeah. Now the young people are away from the table, I discovered more grisly facts on the yeah. northwest of Scotland that the yeah. people that live there would pay to be buried on small little islands because the wolves would dig up the bodies. Right. So lots of burials, even from mainlanders, would go off to the island where a wolf wouldn't go. Okay, so yeah. the wolf would dig up the dig bodies up the body and, eat. and eat it. Okay. So people would pay extra money to be shipped to a small island and buried there. So there's more s graves yeah. on there than maybe on the coast or who lived. Okay. Hander Island, people are buried there, even okay. though nobody lives there or hasn't lived there for a very long time, but Ma for that reason only. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe Rick, we can have a visualisation of a wolf <laughs> digging up a, a body. Um, okay, maybe that's one for the, that's one for later on. Um, that's, uh, that's, for the bon that's for the bonus album. That's the Halloween yeah. ticket, yeah. Okay, so these wolves, they're not, you know, they're not just messing around. Um, someone's left their phone. Um, Grander, yeah. It's the, the elderly gentleman's. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So we've done. We, there we go. We've reunited. We've re reunited the phone. That was quick. Solving problems quickly. Okay. Right. We, I think we do, but we need, we need to, in order to have that sense of closure so we can feel like we've earned our coffee, maybe we should just get a final thought. Um, um, what is your final thought for this session? A lot of it's been about Scotland, the, the wilderness of Scotland. It's been about, the, an, in a way, a kind of new insight about how to manage. Uh, maybe we've got a final, hello, come and take a seat. My name's Mikey, we've got Yolo over here. Um, this is Talkyoki Pop-Up Talk Show. We're here just for today. October the 17th is our day to come to Scottish National Gallery. We were here on the October the 17th last year. It's our day. Um, come and have a seat. Um, it, it's, a, it's a free form talk show. We can talk about whatever you want to talk about. Um, we can, um, Rick's, we've got this artist behind here. He has to be fenced off because he's quite dangerous to wildlife. So we've fenced him behind these screens. But he's actually making images of the chat that we've got so far. But anyway, let's, let's just get some names first of all. My name's Mikey. What's your name? Alexander. Alexander and... Yola. And... Stephen. What's your name? What's your name? I'll come back. What's that? Her what? name's Juliana. Okay, and what's your name? Daniel. And? Joshua Lawrence. Can I just call you Joshua or Josh? Or should okay, I go for the work. whole thing? Okay, that will work. Okay, it would work. Okay, good. Right, so we'll, we'll just go through some of the visuals and tell me if any of these kind of strike a chord with you. And we'll go off onto some... So this is the last, last wolf of Scotland. Because we were talking about that in the 18th century, the last wolf left in Scotland was killed... Um, and people are really happy about this. And Rick is suggesting that we can make a film about this. Um, so that's the one visual. Let's just flick through quickly if we can, Rick. Um, this is the idea of, instead of 
fencing off the wolves, you could fence off the human beings and let the wolves run free. So this is like, could we live in a dome? Um, this is the idea of bringing the lynx, introducing the, do you know what a lynx is? Okay, well this is a lynx, it doesn't normally have a tartan hat, but this is the Scottish lynx, um, which, is, which could potentially help to make, in a way, the idea is that if you bring some of these predators back into Scotland, then that you'll get a more natural um, ecosystem. Well, so, do you know what a unicorn is? Do you think it would be nice if we had wild unicorns in Scotland in the Yeah, hill? Juliana saying yes. Maybe an, on Arthur's seat? When was the last unicorn in Scotland killed? Well, I don't know, but you can yeah. actually see a picture of one. Have you been to the palace? Have you been to the palace? No. Well, if you go to the palace, yeah. you will see a unicorn carved out of stone. Okay, we're just going to park that for a minute because we just go back to the visuals. So we've got this is like the wolves hunting deer. Uh, oh dear. Um, um, why Rick came up with that idea, I don't know. Idea. Um, anyway, um, let's, 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 what animal could represent Scotland? I don't know if you're from Scotland or from someone else. Got a new face to the table. Hello. What's your name? Cheryl. Cheryl, welcome. Um, and um, what's that? Highland cow. A Highland cow. You think well, that would be better? No. This is the monarch of the beach. Um, an alternative, could you have the monarch of the beach rather than this representing Scotland? Uh, what's that? Orca. An orca. So an orca could actually, the monarch of the beach would be an orca, not a dolphin. Um, yeah, so we, Rick, you're going to have to edit that. What is, the, what is this image? What is, this is the national animal of Scotland right here? Well, kind not of, there, kind of yes and no, because it's kind of, this is a very... Um, this is a very kind of big painting in the sense of well-known painting. Um, Emily, you're a bit of an expert on the painting, um, so maybe you could explain a little bit about this it, painting. It's a painting which is on display in the gallery. It's just down the gallery and it's on the right. And it was bought by the gallery a couple of years ago. And it's considered to be like a sort of iconic Scottish image. Um, and we were be we've been discussing like, do you think that this is iconic? And do you think that this represents Scotland? And we've had quite a few different opinions about whether it does or doesn't. But a lot of people seem to agree that actually as an animal, it, it is really effective as a symbol. But we've talked about unicorns, yeah. dolphins. I mean, it I that the unicorn yeah. was the national animal of Scotland, isn't that correct? Uh, is on the, on the British coat of arms, you've got the lion of England and the unicorn of Scotland. So, yeah, it's one of the heraldic beasts yeah. of Scotland. Although we've got the lion as well, like the, the royal house of Stuart, the, the okay. monarchs of Scotland. Okay, so you've got lion, you've got unicorn. Actually, you've got a new face to the table. What, what's your name? Archie. Archie. So, I mean, you know, in a way, this is like the unofficial representation of Scotland. And, you know, this is on more whiskey bottles, let's say. that. Right. Yeah, it's yeah. a stag. It's it, is it a specific type of species yeah. of stag? I yeah. Um, you, you, what are you saying? It's a red deer. Yeah, it's a red deer. So it's to Scotland. Yeah. Red deer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just clarifying. Uh, yep. Yeah. Um, but in a way, you know, there's so many, people have suggested so many different animals, such as the you know the the, the humble midge could represent Scotland. What's a midge? It's a little fly and they, um, they attack you. They come in big clouds and they attack you and, and they're really yeah. annoying. <laughs> yeah. And they're everywhere in Scotland, particularly where it's hot and sunny. And you want to yeah. yeah. Is there an animal that is specific only to Scotland? Mm. Mm. So you think it have to be... Is it a capercaillie? What's a capercaillie, yeah. that... Is yeah. only Scotland. So this is it Rick's, looks a bit like a wild turkey. This is Rick's suggestion yeah. here. It's just you can have a wheel, a Scottish iconic wheel, where you could just spin the wheel, um, and then you'd get the, the kind of animal of the day for Scotland. Does it have to be, you know, does it have to just be one animal? It's like a Chinese zodiac. But yeah, I guess so. <laughs> but this is the Scottish zodiac. Yeah, there we go. Um, so, I mean, could Scotland develop its own astrology with its own wildlife? Um, so, yeah, that's an interesting point. Do you, do you follow astrology, the zodiac? No. Do, what star sign are you? Do you know? No? Okay. Uh, it's not, what month were you born? What month were you born? When's your birthday? 
June. June. Do, what day? Gemini. Gemini. Okay, so you know about astrology. A bit. <laughs> do, you th um, do you follow astrology? Yeah. I do. Okay, hang on a sec. Give us a final thought before you go. <laughs> What's your favourite animal from the from this favorite wheel? Animal for Scotland, what do you think? Mm. Quickly, a yeah. rabbit. A rabbit. Okay, why rabbit? Because uh, they're cute and adorable. Okay. <laughs> Have to go squirrel. Squirrel. Okay, so rabbits and squirrels are going more rodents, and so no one's really. Yeah. What do you think about dinosaurs? Because there used to be dinosaurs in Scotland. Do you think it would be a good idea to have them back again? No, no, dinosaur? Why not? No. Why not? It would be quite exciting, do you think, to have volcanoes and... Yeah, it would be a bit dangerous for kids. Okay, so, I mean, are you talking about reintroducing dinosaurs as well as wolves? Jurassic Park? Yes! Thing? Yeah, okay. And Rick, last night, Rick was drinking Jurassic Dark beer. I mean, could you, would, could Scotland become the new Jurassic Park? Would that be better? Would, would that bring more tourists in if we had dinosaurs roaming around? Yeah, no. Probably okay. tourists, but it would yeah. bring a lot of tourists. It would bring so. tourists, okay. Yeah. I mean, what, I mean, you're not from Scotland. Oh, thank you, thank you. Well, you're not from Scotland. What would you say? What's the iconic animal for you? Are you happy Of Scotland? With, yeah. Well, I love that it's the unicorn. You like the unicorn. I, it's, it's, it's a, when I've been trying to pick up women, I yeah. bring that up as a yeah. as a point of interest. What? You, what? I like unicorns. How does that go? How does no, it go? I, it, What's I, your stick? Come and tell okay, us. Okay, my stick is you. Yeah. You want to open up with something interesting yeah. to capture attention. Yeah. So I'll just have like a non yeah. sequitur, basically, where I'm like, "Would well, you know the national animal of Scotland is a unicorn?" Okay. And then. Oh, then so you just hit them with a the fact straight away. And then they're like, well, that's really weird or yeah. interesting, and yeah. and then you just try to segue to anything. Okay, so a unicorn, in a way, a unicorn can segue into anything, and that's the great thing about unicorns. Do you like unicorns? Yeah. Okay, what's your name? Elliot. What would you prefer, a painting of a unicorn or this painting of a stag? A stag. You think a stag's actually a stag's better? Um, would would it work as a stag work as a pickup line? Uh, Rather than a unicorn, you think the unicorn is better? I, you know, I, if you have enough uh, yeah. cockiness, I think, yeah. behind it, no yeah. pun intended, I think that then it would yeah. probably work okay. Okay, so um, so it could be any animal, really. Well, Archie? I, actually, this is, yeah. um, I know this is a bit like a thing that an art historian would say. You're an art but historian. Okay, I am, yeah. indeed. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, so the reason why, the, you know, that... The connection between kings and stags is that kings went out and they, they hunted the stags. But yep. it's the same with the unicorn and the myth of the unicorn, that the kings were so powerful that they could capture the unicorn. Right. And the unicorn at Holyrood Palace, it has a chain around its neck to right. show that the, it was being caught the power by of the, the oh, king. Yeah, the power so these of the king, animals, yeah. that they are so powerful and mythological, they're right. all to do with the king and his power. Okay. Yeah. All right. Archie, have you got a view on this? Unicorn stag? Does it represent power? No, I'd still go with the red deer. You go with the deer, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because uh, the unicorn is more of a mythical thing. Yeah, yeah. So what we want to represent is something that you can actually see. Yeah, okay, so it's, if it's real, <laughs> it's better, but I mean, does it really matter? Can it be a mythical animal? Um, and does it represent power? Do you think power? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you said people think power, yeah. I, I see the power for sure. Yeah. But yeah. I also, I like the mythological creature because, uh, yeah. do, do you know what a Jayhawk is? Isn't it someone that walks across the road? No, no, no. no <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah there's, there's, yeah. Jay, there's Jay walking. Yeah. But a Jay Hawk, so like my alma yeah. mater, there's, um, yeah. we have a mythological creature as our yeah. uh, mascot, and it's called a Jay Hawk. It, yeah. it kind of looks like a cross between, a, well, I guess a hawk, but with a really long beak, kind of like almost like a parrot. Right. And so, well, yeah. And of course, there's myths uh, associated yeah. with that. Okay, so you know, you, there are these mythological animals. There's a unicorn. There's I didn't know the jayhawk was a mythological animal. The Welsh have a dragon, don't yeah. they? I think that's yeah. quite exciting to have a yeah. dragon. And, and are you from China? Are you a visitor from China? Are you from Philippines? What is the animal of Philippines? Oh, we have a lot. Have you got like one that stands out to represent well, the country? Well, water buffalo. A buffalo. Yeah, water buffalo. Okay. Carabao. Okay. That's one. That's our national animal. Right. 
Okay, are you happy with that? Would you rather have a or uh, the monkey monkey eating eagle? Right. That, that's a big. That's bigger. That's the biggest eagle. Right. Think, okay. So the eagle. So there's some kind of huge. It's a monkey eating eagle. Okay. It's what bigger kind of than monkeys the does eagle. it eat? The the smaller ones. Okay. Not the chip and seeds, but it's a monkey eating eagle. Have you heard of a monkey eating eagle? Yep. You have heard of it, okay? Yeah. Have you have you heard of a monkey eating eagle? That's a real bird. No, a monkey a, a monkey eating an eagle. No, it's no, it's a, a monkey. Yeah, but it's called a monkey eating eagle, I believe. It's a monkey eating an eagle. It's an eagle that it, the monkey eating it describes the eagle. Yeah, so it's like an eagle that eats monkeys, yeah. basically. Okay, it, that reminds me of uh, what is it? The it's like a story of the eagle and the the weasel. The eagle picks up the. Is this similar? The eagle picks up the weasel. No, he says no. this is like a real. This is this is no mythological story. This is a this is a real animal that goes around eating monkeys. It's a bird. It's a it's a bird. Yeah, it's a bird of prey. It goes around pouncing on. Could we reintroduce those into Scotland? Would that be make make things a bit more fun? Oh, yeah, there are, there are yeah, eagles, in, I believe, yeah. I mean, I'm not an expert on Scotland or, or painting or anything. My uh, only real expertise is... What is your favourite favorite animal? Tiger. A tiger, okay. Do you think we should have tigers in Scotland? Uh, yeah. What about the danger involved in that? So, and they always like to hunt on real animals. So you think the animals are more at risk than humans? Yep. Okay. All right. I mean, this is, in a way, this has been the big subject of, of this session. And I think we are kind of, in a way, just about to close down for a coffee. Um, but we, we want to get final thoughts from everyone. But it's, the interesting thing is, it's, this has been the, the big theme this morning. has been about, you know... What does really sc a Scottish wilderness look like? Should we reintroduce wolves or other wild animals? Um, Reintroducing the wolves yeah. would probably bring the balance back. Yeah. Just like what happened in the Americas. Yeah. They introduced a pack of wolves and then everything, uh, the, 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 the ec ecosystem yeah. went back to balance. Okay, so that would have gave a bit more of a balance if we had tigers yeah. here in Edinburgh. Well, if you, yeah. If you put the wolves back in, I think the red stag's in danger. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, but the, the, red, the red stag's, if, uh, the, the wolves only attack those who are weak. Yeah. yeah so, so they don't attack all, but they, then they, they only attack for food. Yeah, okay. So you sounds like you're in favour of this, Archie. Okay, we're going to get some final thoughts for this session. Um, uh, I guess it could be uh, anything, really. It may be some fuel for the next session, yeah? I personally would like to see rewilding. I just think it would be amazing. We need to look at farming, what we do with the land, who's getting yeah. subsidies for it, why they're getting subsidies for it. It would just be such so beneficial to Scotland to have... A beautiful, yeah. encourage that wildlife and that encourage people to come and visit and be a kind of example yeah. around the world. It would be amazing. So there should be a corner of Scotland that's wild, totally wild with wolves. Final thought, Archie, before you go? Yeah, I, when I went on that tour on yeah. the Highlands, yeah. I think I was... The, the herds of the red deer yeah. are actually destroying the ecosystem. Yeah. So you have to control them. And you even have a what's uh, what do you call this a somebody who takes care of the deer population. Yeah. Uh, uh, they just get or they hunt the yeah. weak ones or the older ones. Yeah. And that's probably what the wolves will do. Okay, so you like they the wolf hunt, idea? They don't hunt the, the strong yeah. ones because they they, they yeah. get attacked also. But if if uh, the weaker ones were taken care of. It's natural selection. Okay, so let natural selection take its course. <laughs> Have you got a final thought? Uh, so Thank you. So owls like to eat chipmunks. What's that? Owls like to eat chipmunks. Chipmunks. Yeah. Okay. Chipmunks. Owls like to eat them, and also squirrels. Okay. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Bad thing. It's bad. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Alexander, have you got a final thought? 
Oh, yeah. Uh, I definitely think that the unicorn is the strongest image. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to stand stick, by it. Stick with the unicorn. But I do are think you, we should bring the wolves back. Are you a little bit disappointed coming to Scotland that people are more on the about the stag and not really talking about the unicorn? No, well, I mean, I got a soft spot in my heart for the yeah. unicorn. I yeah. really do. But I'm not disappointed by the stag because I really like the image. Yeah. Um, I just, I like the mythological side of yeah. things. Yeah, maybe, maybe we can get rid... Yeah. I agree. I think the National Galleries of Scotland, they should buy an enormous painting of a unicorn. Yeah. And I is, there one, is there one in existence? We don't have a painting of a unicorn, but I'm sure we could get one. Yeah. I mean, is <laughs> we could commission an artist to paint one okay, or well, make a film. Maybe we could get Rick to make one. Yes. Rick's going to do, Rick, can you do a, a mythological unicorn? <laughs> Rick, how would you feel about being commissioned to make a unicorn painting for the National Gallery of Scotland? We can talk, okay, we can talk. So Rick, I mean, these are just, bear in mind, these are just electronic sketches. Rick can get his brushes out and make a big canvas. So, you know, it's not implausible. Rick could do, I, I, I could see Rick doing a unicorn. Yeah, I think it could work. Anyway, that's the final thought. For, we're going to quickly have a coffee and refuel. But thanks, everyone, for taking part this morning. It's been, it's been some good food for thought. Thank you. Thank you, thanks very much. And uh, we'll be back shortly.